Hello YouTubers. Now today is Poetry Day in Britain. So I'm going to read a little poetry to you. Before that a bit of housekeeping. So this is a nice little pipe. Now I had the bowl on eBay, just the bowl, on its own. And uh, I bought it for a song. I made a shank and I added a little stem which I bent. And I got a nice little pipe now. I don't know how old this is. I think this is pretty old. It's uh, ceramic. Uh -huh. Light up. And I'm, I've got inside it, I've got a thing called plumber and rum, which is a tobacconist uh, loose tobacco, and some bar mortar mix, which is a herbal, it's herbal mixture. So, to celebrate Poets Day, I'm going to read The Elegy of the Death of a Mad Dog by Oliver Goldsmith, an 18th century poet. Good people all of every sort, give your own to my song. And if you find it wondrous short, it cannot hold you long. In Islington there was a man of whom the world might say that still a godly race he ran whene'er he went to pray. A kind and gentle heart he had to comfort friend and foe. The naked every day he clad when he put on his clothes. And in this town a dog was found, as many dogs there be. Both mongrel, puppy, whelp and hound, and curs of low degree. The dog and man at first were friends, but then a peak began. The dog, to gain some private ends, went mad and bit the man. Around from all the neighbouring streets the, na the wandering neighbours ran, and swore the dog had lost its wits to bite so good a man. The wound had seemed both sore and deep to every Christian eye. And while they swore the dog was mad, they swore the man would die. But soon a wondrous came to light that showed the rogues had, died, had lied. The man recovered from his bite, the dog it was that died. <laughs> Elegy of a Mad Dog by Oliver Goldsmith. I light my pipe and I write, I read another one. How long is this? It's one by Rudyard Kipling, a favourite of mine, The Smuggler's Song. If you should wake at midnight and hear a horse's feet, don't go drawing back the blinds and looking in the street. Them that ask no questions isn't all a lie. So what's the wall, me darlings, when the gentlemen go by? Five and twenty ponies trotting through the dark. Brandy for the parson, backy for the clerk. Laces for a lady, letters for a spy. Watch the wall, me darling, when the gentlemen go by. Running round the woods, running round the wood lump, should you chance to find little barrels roped and tarred all full of brandy wine. Don't you call to come and look, nor use them in your play, but put the brishwood back again and they'll be gone next day. If you see a stable door set and open wide, and if you see a tired horse a lying down inside, if your mother mends a coat all cut about and tore, and if the lining's wet and warm, don't you ask no more. If you meet King George's men all dressed in blue and red, you be careful what you say, but mindful what is said. And if they call you pretty maid and chuck you neath the chin, don't you say where no one is, nor yet where no one's been. Knocks and footsteps round the house, whistles after dark. You've no call for running out until the house dogs bark. Trust is you and pincers you. See how dumb they lie? 
They don't fret to follow when the gentlemen go by. So if you do as you've been told, likely there's a chance. You'll be given a dainty doll all the way from France with a cap of Valenciana and a velvet hood. A present from the gentleman, a longer being good. Five and twenty ponies trotting through the dark, brandy for the parson, packies for the clerk, letters for a lady, laces for a lady, I should say, letters for a spy. Just watch the wall, me darling, while the gentlemen go by. Well, I messed the end of that up a little bit, but never mind, it's a lovely poem, <coughs> and it gives you a feeling of smugglers on the, perhaps on the, the Cornish coast there, smuggling in the brandy and the baccy in King George's day. And there was a high taxation then as there is today, of course, on all these things. And the price we've got on tobacco these days, we could do with a few smugglers, I think. To bring it to us a little bit cheaper than uh, the government would like it. Of course, they'd like it if we didn't smoke it at all. Then again, they're losing a lot of revenue, aren't they? So they're going to get it one way or the other, I suppose. So that's about it. I don't think of anything else to uh, add, except uh, the weather still hasn't changed. It's still rotten, wet, and now it's getting cold. At least it's not very cold, but it's getting colder. It's 10 degrees this morning, 10 degrees centigrade. And uh, so we can expect it to get a bit colder as we're moving into October now. Before knew the rain would stop, we could put up with that. So that's my offering for uh, Poets Day. And until I see you the next time, this is Alan saying, take care and happy puffing. <coughs>